What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Chris back again with another video for you guys today. In this video, I want to discuss a few things around the market. One being Thursday flipping, talking about to you guys some of the cards you guys could be looking at to invest in this upcoming week for Thursday and talking about the ultimate guarantee that could potentially happen today and also the SBC fires that go along with it and the state of the market that we are in at the moment. If you guys do enjoy this type of content, make sure you guys do drop a like and subscribe if you're new around here. I would very much appreciate it. Now, first thing I want to talk to you guys about the market is the deluxe SBC that we got today. So the deluxe SBC um, required an 86 overall squad, I believe, with one team this season. So, you know, I obviously did it. I got Ginter out of my pack. We did a few packs on people's accounts as well. I got one alfonso davies i got another one who got dean henderson and uh one other that i'm not thinking about probably jared moore i know i think was the last one and um yeah this was a coin sync sbc now i wonder if ea think that this is going to be their way of saying this is your guarantee pack for ultimate tots if that is the case and today alone we do not get any uh you know if we don't get any ultimate guarantee today Oh my goodness, that is going to be a very, very, very fun day on Twitter uh, with this, with the community, man. The community is going to absolutely go crazy if that is what they are planning on doing. If that was what they're, you know, remember uh, the party bag SBC, something along those lines, where instead of giving us like the thing we wanted, they just give us like a, you know, an SBC that makes us put in an 86 overall squad, but we don't actually just have the ultimate tots in there. We have over a hundred, uh, like a hundred plus players to pick from because of five leagues of like twenty three plus players. So like, you know, I really hope that's not what they decide to do. Again, the way that this week has gone already with the upgrades and people speaking out about it, for their for their sake, I hope they don't decide to do that because I think it would be a very very bad decision. Um, if we are going to get the ultimate tots SPC, nothing's been put in the code yet. Um, SPC fires did go up today, so if you guys listened. Uh, in a previous video of mine, I think two or three videos ago, I did shout out to buy 83s, 84s, 85, 86s, 87s, doing a little bit of a club stock, and you're probably making coins already on every single one of these cards. Now, I would expect um, this market to go up even more with the 86s to, to 89 players if we get a ultimate guarantee because people will do so much. Uh, they'll be doing so many of that SPC, so you're going to see these fires go up a good amount if that is the case, you should still see them go up and up and up as the SBC potentially does come out today. Uh, so look out for that. Talking about ultimate team of season market, Thursday flipping is what you guys are probably clicking on the video for. So let's talk about it. I like to go icons. Again, icons is so consistent. You guys probably made a lot of freaking coins last week on the icons. One in particular that we shouted on, on video was Roberto Carlos. He went from... 344,000 coins all the way to 411 on the Friday. And on uh, Xbox, he went from three, uh, 297 all the way up to like 380. So though he did super, super well for a Thursday and Friday flip this week. On Xbox, you're going to be looking at probably 290 to 285. Now, this is the time to pick some of these cards up. The specials, the icons for this Thursday. Uh, today, during the Ultimate Guarantee, if it does come out... You are going to see the market jump off a good amount uh, because people are going to be selling things off to go and do the SBC. Because people always have this thing in the back of their head is like, oh man, if I if I miss this SBC, you know, and everyone else has already done it, I need to do this SBC as soon as possible. And that's why you're going to see so many market movements today with special cards, with icons, with fodder, whatever the case may be. Uh, on PS, you're going to want to get this Roberto Carlos probably around the 340 to 330 range. He hit that earlier today with the deluxe coming out. Uh, don't pay more than 340, 350 for that Roberto Carlos. He's up a lot right now, but don't worry. He should um, he should go back down a little bit lower. He's just really rare at the moment. Now, with John Franco Zola again, I believe he went up maybe a little bit last week. Yeah, he went to 160. Again, this is a card that you're going to want to pick up at probably 130, uh, 125 and under on PS. And then on Xbox, you're going to want to pick up probably like 120 and under. Those are the prices I would like for Zola. Uh, and even Zola's 85 card probably is even a better investment because people prefer the 85 to the 87. Again, if you look at this graph, he went on Tuesday from 190 
uh, and he went all the way to 199 on the Friday. So you see how, yeah, he did go up a little bit last week. Not as much as I thought he'd go up, uh, if I'm being honest with you. He didn't really go up as much as I wanted to. Uh, I wonder why the the Zola didn't do as well. Let's look at the Essien. Essien is a card that usually does well. One of the most used icons this year. Uh, the 87 overall card. He's currently 182. Yeah, you saw a little bit of a rise on that uh, last week. Uh, again, wait, a huge sell-off on these cards. If you're going to buy an SC and get him at 170, and then on Xbox, you want to get him at 130 to 140, uh, based on this graph. Yeah, you want to get him at 130, 140 on Xbox. And you're going to see some of those prices. You're going to see some of those prices today when the guarantee pack does, if the guarantee pack does come out. Last year, we saw a lot of uh, market movements on that when on that Tuesday when the when the SBC did come out. Um, Cedarf again, you could probably see expect a little bit of a rise on him. Uh, if you look on PS at like 170, and then on Xbox you want to look at probably 140 and under 135. You are going to see them rebound because people do need to use these cards. Michael is another one. He's 150,000 coins at the moment. Um, usually somebody that does go up a little bit. Um, I'd be looking at picking this card up on PS at like. 135 and then on xbox 115 110 um and obviously just like the the icons that always do well man like zambrata i would assume desai let me take a look at him desai again it was a card that we picked last week um for a thursday flip uh i need to get rid of this xbox one just to kind of look here uh he went down the tuesday 250 went up to 274 on the thursday he's now down at 204 I would expect this card be at 180, and then on Xbox, if you look at his graph, you're going to want to buy him on Xbox, probably around the 175 range, 170 mark. Uh, Steven Jarrod is a card that obviously I always tell you guys about. I love this card all the time for Thursday flipping. Uh, again, his graph isn't showing him rising a ton, uh, which is kind of concerning to me because this is a card that a lot of people do use uh, for icons. Let's look at a guy like, because uh, we're off the fodder market right now. Let's look at a guy like Saul Campbell. That was a guy that worked last week. That was 100% a guy that worked last week. Um, where is his 87 at? Uh, he, his 87 did really, really well last week. So if you look right here, he was Wednesday 278, went all the way up to 312. And then if you look on Xbox, he went from 219 all the way to 250. So on Xbox, you're going to want to look at uh, probably uh, downwards of 200. And on PS, you're going to want to look probably around 250, 260. Again, some of these icons are like super, super, um, they, they're just super rare at the moment. So that's why you're kind of seeing a lot of these cards, um, you know, really high at the moment. But I would not look at those cards uh, at those prices. Center back Desai, did he do well last week? Let's go take a look at this card. Again, a very, very solid card on the market. Uh, yeah, he did. He went from on the Wednesday, 324, went all the way to 360. And on Xbox 277 to 330. So on PS, you're gonna want to look at this card probably at around uh, under 300. And on Xbox, you're gonna want to look at this card at probably 285, 280 for Desai. Um, again, Kaka always does well on, on Thursdays. He is 237 on the market at the moment. He went up again last week. He was 220, went all the way up to like 230 ish. Uh, and that means you could probably get the card at 210 on the Wednesday. Sell for 230 on the Thursday, which is a solid 10k per card. So if on PS you're gonna want to look at this guy at like 220 and under, on Xbox you're gonna want to look at him at like 200 and under. Uh, is my uh, buy price on that? Uh, how does? Let's go take a look at like Socrates. Is a 87 Brazilian cam, 154k. Um, he didn't really go up last week either, so I probably wouldn't look at Socrates. Uh, let me give you one more card that does well. Uh, Garincha. Garincha might be somebody that uh, does well on Thursday. Let's go take a look. Mm, not a lot. I mean, the previous week he did go up, but last week he didn't really rise too much. So that's interesting to me because the market should go up a really good amount this Thursday because of all the coins that are on the market. Lodo Matthias' center back card has to go up. Um, I would assume this is this is a good rise. Yeah, yeah, last week he was 354, went up to 382. Uh, and then up to 385 Xbox he went from 309 307 all the way up to 360 so yeah this is a great one to do load the Matthias you're gonna want to buy at like 350 and on on Xbox you're gonna want to buy them at like 330 so yeah these cards are super rare at the moment now what we saw last year on the meta special card market and I should and I showed you before um, some of the cards 
from last year, like Marcelo. He went up a good amount. If you look at this uh, graph, he was as low on Wednesday at 845. He shot right away up to 1 mil 72. He went up over 250k because of the amount of coins in the market. So, in my opinion, you want to look at cards that people love using, right? So, Juan Basaka is a team of the season card that you know people like to use, right? Again, he gets a lot of good links. Uh, I believe we only got, um, out of the ultimate tots, we only got Carver Hall this week. So, yeah, I think you'll be uh, you'll be safe on Juan Basaka. I think if you could find him again today at like 116 under on both consoles, that's really good. Um, because, again, there's going to be a little bit of panic selling on these cards. Uh, another tots card that I could see going up a little bit um, is this Quincy Promise. Now, he's already back up to 525, so if you want to look at him around the 500k and under mark, and even on Xbox, probably 440 and under, um, that would be good because, like, if there's panic, these cards are going to rebound right away, and you can even sell for a little bit more on Thursday flips. Um, I think, you know, Tai Fico might even do a little well, uh, being an Argentine left back. They don't really have many left backs in the, in the Ultimate Tots team, uh, and he's been on his way up here. If you see him drop to, like, 105 on PS... And on Xbox, if you see him drop to like 100 and under, that's pretty, that's fine by me uh, when it comes to Tai Fico. So those are like the Eredivisie cards. If you look at Serie A, right, maybe uh, you look at like a Chris Small in here. Chris Small could very well go up. Again, he gets soft links to Juan Masaka. He's gone up in the past a little bit as well. So if you're on PS, you want to look at 100. And then on Xbox, you're going to want to look at like 105 as well uh, for Chris Smalling. Other special cards, like we did see Fub Birthdays go up last year. I would expect a guy like uh, Fub Birthday. Let's go take a look at some of the Fub Birthdays. Um, I always expect the guy like Fub Birthday Costa to go up a little bit. I think Costa could rise a little bit if he drops to like 200k on PS. And if he drops to like 1, 160, 165 on Xbox, I think that's a go for a Thursday flip this week. Um, Teo Hernandez, uh, obviously got a Tots card, so wouldn't really look at that. But Costa is solid, man. I, I like I like Costa as an investment. Um, and I would say when it comes to this section, I think Lucas Hernandez actually might be good. He's a French center back, gets a lot of links. If you can get if you can get him, see he's gone up on Thursdays in the past. He went to 129 last Friday. Get him under 100 on PS and get him at like 90 and under on Xbox. Uh, even lower on PS actually. You get him at like 90k actually. Um, because I think the, the weight of the panic you see today is going to be a good amount. So I would definitely see the market rising a good amount uh, as the rebound hits. Um, a guy that usually does well on Thursdays is Ricardo Pereira, uh, being a left back card. Uh, he's currently 147. If you see him every single week, he actually goes up on the Thursdays and Fridays. He's dropped off a good amount here. If you get him at under 135 on PS, and if you get him on Xbox at like, let's just say... Let's say like 130. That's solid for me. And go through the team. Go through like the most used players this year. I've already made um, that PGP kind of thing. Like you can look at that on Fuppin. Uh, and you can look at just kind of some of the cards that people use a lot on this game. Uh, icons should do well. Shapeshifters definitely because they're rare. Future star cards could go up a little bit. Fall birthdays. Anything that's rare on the market that has like, you know, very, very little supply. I would I could see them definitely rising this week. Kind of like what we saw with that Marcelo, what we saw with the Hazard Inform. So some, some of those top tier cards are going to rise. People are going to be playing weekendly because, again, it doesn't make sense for them to play, you know, last weekend, get the TOTS team or get the, the ultimate TOTS cards and then not use them, right? That wouldn't make any sense. So if you guys are new to the live stream or if you guys are new to the video, drop a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll talk to you guys in the video soon. Peace out.